This video looks at the difference water levels make on rapids. We've got two contrasting levels here, one very low, quite scrapey, and the other, I've labelled it high flow, but a medium flow, medium to high flow. To make it easier to understand, I've labelled one of these as low flow, and that really is the case. The one I've labelled as high flow is really a medium flow, medium to high, but it gets much, much higher than that. Some rapids then will actually flatten out, others will have some big standing waves, but there's very little obstacle in way of rock or anything to avoid. It's just being careful. And of course, let alone for scraping across the shallows, but the flow's considerably less, so it takes a lot longer to run rapids. And in between the rapids, it's what people often refer to as dog water. So it's not flowing very fast at all. In the higher flows, the flow continues on down.
The biggest contrast is here on Berwyn Rapid. In low flows, there really is only one route to take. And it's down a narrow channel left of these big rocks, but it then becomes a real twist and a turn. And even for myself, it's a case of being very reactive as the nose is thrown one way and the other and trying to keep it off the rocks. In higher flows, when the rocks are underwater, you can go anywhere and it's just good fun, big and bouncy, a yahoo and everybody loves it. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please comment or press the like button and of course you can subscribe. My own book, Canoeing, is available directly from myself or from Amazon and other retailers. You can support the channel, if you'd like, by going to buymeacoffee.com. The link is also in the description below this video. Thank you very much indeed.